Hey, Mark Lyon here with Lion Horsemanship. Today, we're going to show you a little tip on making it a little easier to feed your horses. Hope you like it. So this is something that ranchers have been using for a while. I've used them for quite a few years and it's really been helpful, but I thought there needed to be some modifications. And so this is a nose bag. Some people call them a morel bag, a feed nose bag. Anyway, it's a bag that the horse, you hang on the horse's head and it kind of gives him a little bowl, his own personal bowl of feed. And uh, so it comes in handy in several areas. Uh, now, the, the thing with some of these is the bottoms wear out because, you know, they get them a little wet in the dew or in the grass or they dunk them in a puddle of mud or maybe it's muddy and that's why you want them to not spill the feet on the ground and so they get mud on the bottom and then they kind of wear out and they'll rub the bottom on the ground and it kind of wears the bottom out. So I've worn through several bottoms on these bags and, and so I got the bright idea to put a bucket on the bottom of it and I first one I did was a little paint bucket, plastic paint bucket, and it worked so well that I decided, you know, I need to kind of work on this a little bit more. So this is my last one that I made, and we're going to start uh, having these on our on the website so you can get them. Um, otherwise, you can just kind of improvise. You can use maybe a, a big, great, big, extra, extra large pair of jeans, a leg of a pair of jeans over a bucket. Kind of does the same thing. Now, what you want to have is you want to have some holes in the front so that the water gets out, because if your horse tries to drink, then, you know, we don't want him drowning in there because it's going to fill that bucket up with water. And so when they raise their head up and they kind of go like this, we wanted that water to, you know, come out the bottom and also to be able to come out these holes. So it kind of, you know, lets the water out and also gives them a little circulation there where they can breathe and get some, get some air in there. And so it kind of little ventilation hole and allows the water to come out if they were to get some water in there. So that's kind of what it is. And uh, so I'm gonna put some feed in this one, give my horse a little little feed and show you how it works. Okay, so I got some feed in here for my horse and what I'm gonna do is just stick it in there, stick that over his ears like that. And I'm gonna adjust this so it's not, it's not too long. It's a little bit long there, it was for a little bigger horse. Head on there, good. So it lets him kind of eat eat out of his bucket there. Now there's some, some benefits to having this. One of them is they can't drop their feed. You know, you have a horse, maybe he's getting a little older and his teeth aren't real good, or he's just a messy eater and he just spills feed out there. And so this keeps it, if he drops it, it's just gonna fall back in that bucket and just wait till he picks it up again. So you, you save a lot of feed. You don't have it spreading around out there on the ground. And the second thing is, is if you're a place where it's really sandy, you know, you don't want them getting sand colic, so you can feed them in this bucket and they don't get any sand in their feed. And if they spill some on the ground and they're trying to pick it up out of the sand, they don't get some sand in there. And so it kind of helps with sand colic too. Okay, so the next reason we do it is if you have a horse that's a little bit pushy, you know, maybe you've got on the ranch, is this what we've seen? And, and one reason why they use it, you'll have a, I don't know, 10, 12 yearlings in a, in a little pen and you'll have a, one or two babysitter horses out there with them, you know, some older geldings. And you'll throw half a bag or bag of feed out there to kind of let the young ones eat. And the older ones will push them off and, and eat more than they should. So you can put one, something like this in there, give it to the older ones, and that way they can't run the young ones off because they can't bite them and they, they can't steal the feed. So they'll, let, they'll eat their own feed and not eat any more than they should, and they'll let the other ones eat. The other thing is, is if you have a horse that maybe needs some medicine, maybe he's got SMZs or whatever medicine you want to give him, and maybe he doesn't like the taste of the medicine, so he goes and runs the other horse off of his feed. You've got a bunch of hanging buckets or whatever uh, on the side of the fence there, and you feed them all in a, in a pen. And that one will go push the other one off because his feed doesn't taste like medicine, and then the other one has to go, you know, eat the one with the medicine in it. So the wrong horse gets the medicine, and you know, just doesn't really work. So this one allows you to put a little medicine in there or special supplements, and that way you can, you can keep that horse getting his food and the other horse getting his other food, and that way you don't have to worry about it. So just a couple of tips on using these and some, some of the benefits. Like I say, we're gonna have them on our website, so if you need some, uh, there'll be a link in the description. You can contact me. We'll get you, get you one or two and uh, help, you, help you feed a little easier. 
Now the thing is with these, you wanna make sure you get them off and don't let them get full with water because if they try to drink, you know, they can get some water in there and that can upset them a little bit. Like so you make sure there's holes in there so you can drain so they don't, don't drown themselves. That's always a bad, bad situation there. So just kind of be aware of those, those uh, like cons or, or things you need to be aware of. But other than that, it's a really good system that really allows us to feed different horses, different feed. Hope you like it. Talk to you next time.